हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी अ जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक गुरु भक्ति योगा ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी शिवानंद जी महाराज ऑफ डिवाइन लाइफ सोसाइटी ऋषिकेश इंडिया एंड नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद और स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी in today's satsang we will continue our journey with praise of the guru in our ancient and holy scriptures the glory of guru bhakti is vividly eulogized in bhagavatam ramayana mahabharata yoga vashishta etc these are beautiful scriptures that we cover on a regular basis study these scriptures daily you will be greatly inspired and your life will transform books which are written by a guru who is a realized one constitute satsanga when you study them with full faith and devotion you are wholly in communion with your holy guru many of you know i have recently published a book which is on barnes and noble and also on amazon it is known as uh, art of spiritual living so if you just go to amazon and type in swami nikhilananda art of spiritual living you will find that book you can either get it in kindle or a hard copy or a soft copy or a, a paperback anything that can it has been written with my experience i have kept it very simple for any aspirant who wants to sincerely follow this path and learn and then if there are any questions i guide the aspirants accordingly this is to spread spirituality not to spread my name or not to become famous that is not the goal the goal is to do gyani yagya to make it simpler for people to follow these teachings to make these teachings accessible and swami shivananda is saying if you have taken initiation from your guru if i happen to be your guru who has initiated you you should all read it with great reverence with respect and humbly ask questions and if you feel inspired write some reviews on amazon so others can get inspired and also um, spiritualize their daily life this is not self promotion i don't like to do that money is not the goal 100% of any donations always go to our non profit and we serve the world selflessly with love and spirituality that is all we try to do so guru's grace will descend on the deserving disciple only who is earnestly struggling on the path who is thirsting for god realization the guru is not blind he sees everything he knows who is a worthy disciple and who is unworthy he knows who is lying and who is sincere we cannot fool the guru by our fake excuses and our looks and our flowery words that we use for the guru guru is beyond all that that is guru is gunatita so he is very aware of all your struggles so we should always approach the guru with humility with tears in our eyes and with devotion nowadays swami shivananda says disciples want to lead a life of ease and comfort and expect the grace of guru without obeying him that is being unrealistic foolish ignorant nothing will happen to such a disciple who doesn't want to put in the hard work and who only wants the blessings of the guru or whenever he is in trouble he runs to his guru those people are not deserving aspirants guru nanak tulsidas shankaracharya vyasa valmiki have all written volumes on the glory of association with the guru and great souls and that is why satsang association with sages and saints is considered one of the gatekeepers to the palace of liberation it is enough to get you liberated if you are a sincere aspirant and you are doing everything within your power to purify yourself so meera bai shabri purandar das so many papa ram das so many sages and saints they sang the glory of guru kripa they were always immersed in the bliss of guru's grace 
faith in God, in scriptures, love and devotion to Guru and God slowly develop in those who do regular satsanga. So even if you are not ready, you still come to satsanga because the vibrations start to act upon you and they go deep in your unconscious and they will sprout. Many people unfortunately attend satsanga for a little while and then they drift away. Even so, even so, the satsanga that they have listened to goes into their unconscious and it sprouts at some other time in their life, later in their life or in some other life. That effort they have spent is never wasted. So, the company of Guru is a question of supply and demand. If there is a sincere demand, the supply will come at once. This is the defined firm law of the universe, of the nature. So always know if you are sincere, you will be met with a sincere Guru. If you yourself are not putting in the effort or looking for excuses, you will be getting a fake Guru, <laughs> a teacher who will take you down the path of disaster. Stay away from such gurus and stay away from being such a lazy disciple. Get up, put in your hard work, be sincere and uh, be firm in your practice. There are no shortcuts to success. This is the authentic way, the real way and all the sages and saints and the glory of the scriptures guides us to that point. If you are really thirsty for God realization, you will find your spiritual teacher at your very threshold. For the right aspirant, the Guru will come to them no matter how, no matter from where God makes it happen. This is God's department. He will never let you suffer if you are sincere, if you yearn for a Guru, the nature has to fulfill that demand. The company of the great realized Guru is difficult to attain. It is not an easy thing. Unapproachable and beneficial. It is highly auspicious when a Guru comes to you and you connect with the Guru. Please understand these things are, don't consider your Guru as a human being or just as a matter of chance or luck. It doesn't happen like that. It is divine grace that is bringing you together. If you pray sincerely with devotion, they themselves come to you. Such is the divine energy, the divine law. And may you be such a sincere disciple that the real Guru, you will know, your heart will know when that happens. On finding the Guru, good things are always rare in this world. Diamonds are very expensive because they are rare. Otherwise, they would be like tomatoes. If they were as easily available as tomatoes, who would buy diamonds? It would, be, it would become redundant and meaningless. But because they are rare, they are valuable. Such a Musk, saffron, radiant, sandalwood, learned persons, virtuous persons and philanthropists are rare. These people are not easily available. But the, on the other hand, people who are filled with lust and greed and passion and anger and worldly thoughts are plentiful. So therefore, we should learn to be introspective. And while we are leading this life, we should analyze and do the things to make our life a living uh, temple. When such is the case, what to speak of saints, bhaktas and yogi, yogis, sages, seers and guru who are the realized ones. So, needless to say, when philanthropists, sandalwood, diamonds, these things are rare, what to say of a uh, Satguru who is the rarest of the rare because he demystifies for you the complexities of all your journey that you have done so far in many, many embodiments and he shows you the path never to come back again. He shows you the path to liberation. If you do service of the Guru who is a realized one, the question of your salvation is solved. You don't have to worry about it. They say, Mukti Bhakti ki Dasi hai, which means liberation is the maid servant of devotion if you have full devotion in your heart liberation is a byproduct it has to come 
you don't have to separately ask for it. If you say that there are no good Mahatmas and preceptors, preceptors will also say that there are no good disciples. Like we always say, it is hard to find a good disciple. There are so many <laughs> gurus, what to say, which one is right or not. But so if you try to stay a disciple, I personally like to always stay like a disciple, no matter how much I know, because we are always learning in this university of life. The company of the great souls is obtained by the grace of God alone. When God's grace comes to you, then only a guru can enter your life. Otherwise, it will not happen. You may come one step almost touching the guru but if you are not ready that opportunity will be gone so let us always remember these beautiful thoughts and with this we conclude our satsang for today and we will continue the same topic in tomorrow's satsang which is how how rare it is to find a true guru and then we will cover great love of guru hari om tatsat